Hi, it's Dwyer, richarddwyer.com, gamblersadvisory.com. Christian Taylor, let's keep an eye on this case on this YouTube channel. Because simply put, it's outrageous. It's the latest in a long line of police violence, lethal violence, fatal violence against an unarmed black male, right? Christian Taylor's unarmed. Now let me ask just some basic questions. I'm just going to raise some questions. We'll see how the facts come out over the next few days. But, you know, why do police officers have batons? Why do police officers have tasers? Aren't police officers supposed to use non-fatal, non-lethal ways to restrain and subdue suspected criminals? Right? Understand, a cop is not supposed to use lethal force when he doesn't have to. Right? Now, one has to ask themselves, why was lethal force necessary here? Right? According to reports, the cop shoots this young man several times. Right? Several times. Why didn't this cop? use a taser or use a baton let me point out too that it's no excuse that the cop was relatively new on the force right understand police forces have an obligation to all of us including people with this black skin to protect and to serve their public servants Right? There's no legal immunity, none whatsoever, for new police officers or inexperienced police officers. We hold them to the same standard that we hold more experienced officers. Right? So please, don't tell me that this guy in his 40s, who was relatively new to the force, should be cut some slack for killing an unarmed suspect. Right? That's ridiculous. Let's also talk about some of the racism that's folded into the politically correct reporting. Right? We're hearing that the young man who got killed, right, got killed was a college football player. Okay, let's read into that code. I believe when you're reading an article and they say, oh, he was a football player. You're supposed to think to yourself, oh, this must have been some big violent Negro who needed to be subdued by the use of deadly force. Right, football player. You're supposed to think, oh my God, how big was he? 260, 280, 6'2", 6'3", 6'5", J.J. Watt size, right? Understand, this guy who you keep hearing about as a college football player was 5'9", 180 pounds. Again, 5'9", 180 pounds. Now think about the dynamic here. He's unarmed. There's more than one cop, folks. Right? More than one cop. You're telling me the police are so incompetent in this jurisdiction that with more than one cop, in dealing with an unarmed 5'9", 180 pounder, a guy would have to take out his gun and shoot this young guy several times, killing him. So let me just say, I'm outraged. This is over the top. 
I don't think in the coming days you're going to hear any facts, any facts that would justify this use of violence. Right? 5'9", 180 pounds. Understand, the suspect got killed not by the use of a baton, not by falling and hitting his head. No, the suspect got killed after being shot several times. This is an outrage. Let me say this too. Who's the person hiring for this police force? You're telling me that they hired someone in their 40s who doesn't have enough common sense to know when deadly force is completely inappropriate. This is ridiculous. Let's keep an eye on this case as it unfolds, right? I'd like to know more about the background of this cop. I'd like to know more about the circumstances under which this young man got shot. I'd like to know why the cop felt that deadly force was necessary. Let me say this too. I want the story to get out quickly because I don't want everyone involved to go in some back room through their representatives and then to sink their stories, right? Normally when police arrest suspects, right, multiple suspects, they want to get a statement right away. You don't say to the suspect, hey, you know what, we're going to hold off, give you a few days to think about what you want to tell us. I'm going to stop this interrogation. I'm going to give you a few days to talk with the other people who were present at the scene so that by the time I talk with you again your story will have been vetted by everybody I don't want that right something happened here that left someone dead right multiple guys carrying guns and batons and all that other stuff somehow felt the need to kill an unarmed man suspected of burglary right that's the other thing this isn't a hostage situation, right? This is a simple burglary, and somehow they decided to kill the suspect, the 5'9", 180-pound suspect, the average-sized man that you're hearing about as some football player. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com and at my firm website, richarddwyer.com. Let me make one other point, too. You know, this politically correct culture is literally choking the life out of us, right? Isn't it? Or shooting the life out of us, isn't it? Understand, it's because minorities have received different treatment from public servants, right, on a host of levels, not just the cops doing these violent acts, right, but the judicial system that covers up a lot of this violence or that justifies this violence, right? It's because of the unequal protection that minorities here in the United States have been receiving that people came up with phrases like black lives matter minority lives matter understand the blackness and the minority aspect of those phrases are necessary because they underscore the fact that right now in America we're acting as if black lives don't matter minority lives don't matter well, of course, we then get the PC overlay on it, right? The politically correct spin that gives everyone cover where there should be no cover. So, of course, you have a group out there now saying, oh, you're being racist. Black Lives Matter, that's racist. Minority Lives Matter, that's racist. Even though the people being shot and killed are predominantly black and Latino, you can't say that publicly. Isn't that what they're saying to you when they say, don't say black lives matter. Say all lives matter. 
hey, look, man, don't force me to cover up your violence against minorities. Right? If I want to, after an incident like this, say, whoa, 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 black lives matter. Don't try to water down the potency of what I'm saying. Don't try to remove the blackness from the protest. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at richarddwyer.com. I also have a libertarian site, keeping it free. Thanks for stopping by.